Tonight, we are learning the extraordinary security at the U.S. Capitol will continue at least until next month. More than seven weeks after the armed insurrection, there's concern the danger is far from over. CBS's Chris Van Cleve reports from the Capitol. Tonight, what a lawmaker calls new and disturbing threats targeting Congress, nearly two months after the Capitol attack. Members of the militia groups that were present on January 6th have stated their desires that they want to blow up the Capitol and kill as many members as possible uh, with a direct nexus to the State of the Union. President Biden's address to Congress has not been scheduled, but the elevated security posture around the Capitol will stay in place at least through the speech. Acting Chief of Capitol Police Yogananda Pittman acknowledged the department knew militia groups and other extremists were heading their way on January 6th. These groups plan to be armed. The target of the demonstration would be Congress. More than 10,000 descended on the Capitol grounds. Around 800 forced their way in. That includes two former Rocky Mount Virginia police officers who pleaded not guilty today to charges they were in the Capitol. Pittman said undercover Capitol police were sent to surveil the crowd at President Trump's rally that morning and intercepted demonstrators' radio communications. Officers guarding congressional leaders also had been issued assault rifles. Yet Pittman said her force was still unprepared for the onslaught. No credible threat indicated that tens of thousands would attack the U.S. Capitol. The intelligence missteps cascaded into inadequate preparation, which placed the health and lives of frontline officers at risk. The acting chief said even if her command staff had gotten that FBI memo that warned some riders were coming ready for war, she says it was consistent with other intelligence they already had, so it would not have changed the Capitol Police plan for the 6th. Nora. Chris Van Cleve, thank you.